The coronavirus pandemic, the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression, and the George Floyd killing in Minneapolis that sparked weeks of protests for racial justice have all taken a mental toll. Jerika Duncan shows us the impact, especially on communities of color. I knew that I needed help um, or that I wouldn't be here much longer if I didn't receive help. The coronavirus nearly took the life of 17-year-old Cameron Lagon, and she doesn't even have it. But fear, anxiety, and isolation caused by the pandemic deepened her chronic depression. I tried to overdose, and I, thankfully it did not work. What's going through your mind when you find yourself in a depressed state? It's almost like somebody throwing you into water and you not knowing how to swim. Four weeks after Lagan's suicide attempt, her anxiety was triggered again by the murder of George Floyd. I can breathe. It makes me worried for my future self. Um, it makes me worried for my father, a black man. I know that I should not live in fear, but I do. No justice! And she's not alone. Just one week after George Floyd's death, 41% of black Americans had symptoms of anxiety or depression. Well, mental health is not one size fits all. Fonda Bryant says she once attempted suicide, but now she tries to prevent it, teaching others the warning signs. She says the legacy of slavery and Jim Crow laws has scarred many African Americans for generations. It's just about every day that someone is reaching out to me from across the country asking me for resources or how do I get help. Fonda, how do the emails that you are receiving before this pandemic compare to the ones that you've been getting now? You can hear that panic. You can hear that sense of urgency in someone's email or in someone's voice. It's like they're already in a state of crisis. Bryant helped Lagan move forward. She's now headed to college in the fall with a new mission. I know that my calling is to help others and heal others. Um, my family as well. Helping others as Bryant helped her to choose life. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York. Such important work. Jerika, thank you.